Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build the adorable Sniffer. Still not quite as cute as the Tough Golem, but here we are. We're going to build this adorable creature. Right now. Here are all of the materials you'll need. Go ahead and grab extra leaves and mangrove wood just in case, because amounts could vary depending on how you end up building it. The entire build will fit in an 11 by 17 area, so go ahead and mark off the space that you want to build it, and let's get started. We're going to start with the feet using the cobbled and polished deep slate. We're just going to do four of one type of block on a corner, then go ahead and fill in the other four with the other type of block. Then we're going to go one block over and do the same thing. It doesn't matter which block goes in which corner, it's really just random for texturing. And let's do a third one, like so. So that is one side of the sniffer. For the other side, we're going to skip three blocks and do the same thing on this side. Next, I'm going to take the mangrove wood and do a basic outline of the body around what we have so far. I'm going to start in the front of the sniffer. This is where the head eventually will go. I'm going to take the slabs and put them across here, connecting from one foot to the other, and then putting a row of full planks on top of that. Next, I'm going to go around all these sides and randomly place some planks and stairs along this top edge. It doesn't matter where you place them exactly. All that matters is that it's random and it's just for extra detail, these stairs, but we do want it to overhang the edge of the feet by one block. And then we're going to do extra detail too with the slabs underneath some of these. And the only rule here is I just don't put any slabs under the stairs because I don't like that closed off look. I want it to look like it's fading downward. So slabs only go under full blocks. And we're going to do this on all the sides. Again, it's a random pattern. You can copy how I'm doing it or make up your own pattern. There's no wrong way to do this. Next, I'm going to take some mangrove planks and add some additional blocks above this just for texturing. You don't want it to go any higher than two blocks up from where we just built, but we're just going to create some random shapes all around this just to, again, add some more detailing to the build. Once we add the stripped wood on top, these will look a little bit darker than that, so it's just going to add that little extra bit of texturing. You'll notice that I only did it on these three sides. I didn't do it in the front where the head is going to go because on this side, we're going to build out the base of the head. So let's go ahead, go two blocks from the edge, then we're going to go two blocks out, then three blocks, then two more sets of three blocks, another set of two. Then we're gonna take yellow terracotta and do the base of the mouth, starting from this corner and going out four blocks and then bringing all of the other rows up to that point. Now we are ready to use the stripped mangrove wood. If you wanted to use logs to conserve blocks, you can. There's just a few spots where you will want to use the wood. For the most part, you probably could substitute it for logs though. We're gonna go around the entire body and make sure it all comes up to this point. So it's an additional three blocks from that lower section. So all this detailing that we did, it's going to cover that and everything's going to go up to this point with this wood. I'm going to trace around this whole thing. Once you get to the head, it's going to be a little different. We can skip this corner because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. We're going to do three blocks along the base there. And the only thing you have to do here is make sure to leave a two block gap for the eyes. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then you can fill it in along the top. Taking mangrove stairs, we can connect these blocks right here on the edge. 
And we're going to fill in the eyes later, but for now we have the openings for those. Let's go ahead and finish up the mouth. I'm going to take oak stairs and go around the edge of this, making them all upside down. Then taking the yellow terracotta, going around the whole thing again. And then on the top, we're just filling it in, but leaving these two open, like so. Next, let's do the eyes. I'm going to take any black block. I'm using wool because I know it's easy to get in survival. And we're going to place those right behind that hole. Then we're going to take a black banner and put it right along the back of this block. And the reason for that is really just so you can see it from this angle. You can kind of see the eye there because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see it because it's all in the back there. So this just helps with the illusion of the eye being there from this angle. And we can do the same thing on the other side. Two blocks and then a banner. And then we have to place two more black banners up here in the nostrils and we're done with those. Let's finish the rest of the mangrove parts. We have to build the ears and finish off the top of the head. And we're just gonna be using stairs and slabs for this part. So I'm going to take stairs, put them two across here. This is going to cover the eye a little bit, but it's okay, you'll still be able to see it. And then we're going to do two stairs upside down, going that way. And then the third one is going to go one down there. So it should look like this from the front. And then we're going to take the trap doors, the warp trap doors, and put two of them under that. Go ahead and repeat that on the other side. Then let's take the mangrove slab and build them in this pattern on the head. We don't want to touch this row because we will be covering that here shortly. Then the only other detailing we have to the face is extra trap doors around the mouth. Go ahead and put those in. You're just going to have four on each side and then you're also going to have them across the top. Now all we have left to do is the leafy back of the sniffer. I have these blocks that I'm going to be using. You can use any type of leaf you want, but I like how these ones look. And we're going to need a solid block first for the inside part because the leaves are kind of see-through if you have that setting turned on. So I want to do the inside layer with moss blocks. And I'm just going to stack it up three times. And we're just going to go around this whole thing, stacking it up three times with the moss. And we're done with the moss. We don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to take the mangrove leaves and make the roof or the top of the back. But I am going to do an azalea leaf on just the corners. And those are really just there for texturing. The top doesn't really need as much texturing as the sides. That's why I'm just going to do the whole thing with the mangrove leaves. Oh, by the way, the inside is going to be very empty, so I'll leave it up to your own creativity what you end up doing with it. Now we can add all of the rest of the textures to these sides, and similar to how we did the base, it doesn't have to be exact, but if you want to follow what I'm doing, if you think it will be easier, then feel free to do so. But I'm going to start by doing the entire thing with the mangrove leaves and then go back and texture it, whatever is easiest for you. But the bottom edge is going to be a bit more jagged, it's gonna have some more randomly placed blocks. But then once we get up to the top, we're going to not cover up that azalea block we placed, we're gonna go around it, but we're going to fill in all of the other blocks. So it's only those corners that should be empty. And now that we have this built, we can texture it. I'm going to take the azalea leaves and just use these mainly on the corners because they are my highlight block. So I want the corners to be highlights, but I will sprinkle in a few in the middle, just not a whole bunch. And then I'm going to take the oak leaves and I'm mostly putting these under the azalea leaves, but they can also go on their own or above it. Again, it's just an extra texture and it looks really nice. 
Let's do the exact same thing in the back. Really, the only rule here is that you'll want to have the bottom of the leaves go no further down than this mangrove wood. You want it to extend down to this, but you don't want it to go further than one block past that. So I'm just doing a random jagged edge and once again filling it to the top and leaving out those corners where these azalea leaves are. And then we can go back and texture it. Let's do this other side. Once you get to the front, since we don't have as much space for texturing along the bottom, I'm just going to fill it in around the head and put it down here once it gets to that corner. But then the rest of it is going to be exactly the same as the other ones. Leave out that corner where that azalea leaf was and we can texture it. And once you've finished this texturing, then you are done. You can be done with that sniffer. You can throw your blocks away and then you can fly back or walk back and just admire it. Look at how adorable he is. And like I said, there is a lot of space on the inside if you want to do something with it, or you could just keep it hollow and let things spawn in there. It is nice that it has a leaf top, so there is some light that gets through. It's not completely dark inside. But there you have it, there is the adorable sniffer mob for you. These box-like mobs aren't always fun to build, but it did turn out better than I was expecting it to. You should also check out my tough golem statue because I think it's just as cute, if not cuter. But aside from that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I will see you later.